Hey guys and gals, Brandon with Sylvan Arms here today at our facility where we manufacture all of our great products for you lovely people. Today we're going to actually focus on installing our Gen 4 folding stock adapter, the newest product in our great line. Alright guys and gals, you're going to get everything you need to install your Gen 4 folding stock adapter. We're going to provide you with a wrench, and then we're going to go over here to our Sylvan Arms servicing mat, which you can pick up at sylvanarms.com, by the way. It's got some great magnets on the side so you don't lose any of your small parts. You'll get two Allen wrenches with your Gen 4 folding stock adapter that you'll need to complete the installation. All right, the first thing you want to do is start with a clear and safe weapon, as always. You will not need your buffer retaining pin and spring anymore. You can go ahead and set that to the side. You will not be using that. All you're going to need to do is take your folding stock adapter, Screw it down as far as it'll go. If it does that, just back it off a little bit. You wanna open up your folding stock adapter. You wanna take your eighth inch Allen wrench, insert it down here, and this will actually orient the folding stock adapter into place. Tighten that down, make it nice and snug. You don't need a torque wrench or anything, guys. Just snug it up. Then you'll take the same Allen wrench and we have this locking screw that goes in the back to keep that screw from backing out. You'll install that one in the same fashion, just nice and snug. And you're good to go. Then all you simply do, use the wrench that was provided by us and make your castle nut nice and snug. The next thing you want to do is install your takedown pin spring. You simply need to put your pin back in, take your spring, Drop it in the hole, right underneath of the latch. Use your Allen wrench. Insert that into the hole and tighten it down and you're done. All right, the next thing you wanna do guys is just simply close your folding stock adapter and you're ready for your buffer tube and weight. So what you wanna do with this part is you wanna actually have this installed inside of your buffer tube already. You just simply stick it into the back and screw it down. And then install your castle nut and your tube lock like you did in the previous model. All right guys, and that's it. Your installation's done. Throw in your bolt carrier extension and you're ready for the range. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Like always, head on over to sylvanarms.com. And hey, while you're there, drop us a pic of your build. We wanna see what you guys got. We love customer feedback and we love hearing from you. I'm Brandon with Sylvan Arms. Thanks, have a great day.